Now this wonderful work of Schopenhauer's, he says, when you reach a certain age, and he wrote this when he was say, in his 60s or so, and look back over your life, it seems to have had an order. It seems to have had a, a, been composed by someone. Mm. And those events that when they occurred seemed merely accidental and occasional and just something that happened turn out to be the main elements in a, in a consistent plot. So he says, who composed this plot? And he said, and just as your dreams are composed by an aspect of yourself of which your consciousness is unaware, so your whole life has been composed by the will within you. And then he says, just as those people whom you met by chance became effective agents in the structuring of your life, so you have been an agent in the structuring of other lives. And the whole thing gears together like one big symphony, he says, everything influencing and structuring everything else. And uh, he said, it's as though our lives were the dream of a single dreamer in which all the dream characters are dreaming too. And so everything links to everything else moved out of the will in nature. It's a beautiful idea. It's an idea that occurs in India in the, idea, in the image of what's called the net of Indra or the net of gems. It's a net of gems where every gem reflects all the other ones. And they also have the idea of uh, a spontaneous and uh, simultaneous arising. Everything arises in relation to everything else. And so you can't blame anybody for anything. It's all working around. It's a marvelous idea. It's as though there were an intention behind it. And yet it all is by chance. None of us has lived the life that he intended.